This video is about the force in the surface of water, a property called the surface tension of water. Now in this first experiment, I've got a plastic tray and in the tray, there's some tap water, pure, clean water straight from the tap. And that's really important. I've also got a rectangle of cardboard and in the back of it, I've cut out a triangular shape. Now, I call this my cardboard boat because I'm going to float the boat on the water at this end of the tank. And when I get it steady, which is there, I think we'll do probably, I'm going to put a drip of soap in there. Watch what happens. The cardboard boat travels across the tank quite rapidly. Now, why is this? Well, soap lowers the surface tension of the water. So at the back of the boat, the surface tension is suddenly reduced. At the front of the boat, the surface tension is still the same as it was before. So it's a greater force at the front and this pulls the boat forwards. It is quite the opposite of a rocket because in a rocket, the rocket is moved forward by the thrust at the back of the rocket. But here, the higher surface tension at the boat at the front and the lower surface tension of the water at the back means that the boat is pulled forward. Now, it's no use me adding any more soap because as soon as the surface of the water has been touched by the soap, the soap spreads out and you get a tiny film following the boat up the tray and the whole surface will now be covered with a layer of soap. In the second experiment about the surface tension of water, I've simply got a small bowl and it's full of water. Once again, clean water straight from the tap. And all I'm going to do is to sprinkle some sawdust on the surface of the water. Now you can see the sawdust is covering the surface quite regularly. There's a uniform covering of sawdust. And now all I'm going to do is to take one drop of soap solution and drip it into the centre of the bowl. And you saw what happened. The sawdust was pulled vigorously towards the sides of the bowl. Why is this? Well, as you now know, the soap solution lowers the surface tension of the water. So the water around the outside of the bowl pulled the sawdust to the edge because of the lower surface tension of the soap in the middle. And there was a net force radially towards the edge of the bowl. This is the final experiment in this short set of demonstrations about the surface tension of water. For this one, I need a drinking glass, a straw, a small coin, a plastic card, and a supply of clean tap water. Well, first of all, I'm going to balance the plastic card on the edge of the glass, and that's pretty simple. But now I'm going to put the coin on the edge. It falls off. Well, you shouldn't be surprised about that. It's unbalanced. But now I'm going to fill the glass with water. And I really do mean fill it I'm going to get it right up to the edge, like this, right to the top. Here we are. And I'm now going to put the coin back on the card and replace the card, hopefully, on the surface of the water. And it's balanced. Why? Well, there's an additional force now, which we know is the surface tension of the water holding the card down onto the water. So although we've got the weight of the coin on the outer edge, it's balanced by the force of the surface tension of the water. If we now try and remove the water, watch what happens now. Well, 
it falls off. And why? Because now I've removed the water from underneath the credit card. The surface tension force has disappeared from underneath the card. And so the card and the coin fall off.